Hi, welcome to a brand new episode of Tomahawk and Stu Pitch A <laughs> Podcast, a show where I Tomahawk. And I'm white. And you're also... Stu. We take turns pitching you ideas for podcasts, and then we improvise a scene of each one. And before we jump in today, please subscribe. And if you're feeling real saucy, hit that notification bell if you want to. I'm not trying to force it on you. I am, actually. It's free. There's no reason not to. We appreciate it. (laughs) (laughs) All righty. Stu, you ready for us to jump into our first pitch? It's do or die. Let's do it. Okay. Our first pitch of the day is spokespeople. Where oh. you and I, we try to become the spokespeople of various brands. Mm. Every episode, Okay, we're trying to be the spokesperson of a new brand. Okay. Take it away. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming back and joining us for Spokespeople Are Us, where we, the spokespeople, audition for your favorite brands. Today, we have a spokesperson, auditioning spokesperson for the brand for Subway, Please welcome Jared Fogel. Jared, how are you doing today? Hello, it is me, Jared with two Ds, Fogel. That's not what it says in my favor, but we'll just we'll mm-hmm. just roll with it. All right, Jared, how are you doing today? I'm okay. I do want to say, I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> that sounds like something a pedophile would say. Let's not kid ourselves. We all know that Jared Fogel, the former spokesperson of Subway, was a pedophile. Who? This is this is 2008. Is it, is it really? <laughs> it's 2008. What are you talking about? You you are auditioning. We don't have a spokesperson yet. I'm, I, that can't be true. I feel mm-hmm. like he's been the Subway nope. spokesperson. I've from, never heard of him. No. Subway. From like the mid 2000s, no. early 2000s to like 2010. Right? I, I don't I, I I don't know. Are you gonna use an internet search engine? <laughs> yes, I'm using uh, Ask Jeeves. Okay. I wonder what Jeeves is gonna say. He first appeared in the year 2000. Uh Uh-huh. See? Okay, so it's the year 1999, and and we are looking for a spokesperson for a new line of commercials for Subway. Jared Fogel, thank you for coming to the audition. How are you doing today? I, I'm really happy to be here. I just watched The Matrix, and, oh. and I'm, I'm just real real excited. I think it's I'm weird glad. that you're only auditioning people named Jared Fogle. No, you're, I saw you're the this, only one. Th- there was this, no, 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 I saw a guy. I met a guy on the way in. He said his name was Jared Fogle, so there's at least two. I see ah. why you'd get mixed up. He must yep. be the guy coming in after me. Okay, well, let's hope that you do better than him and get the job. Hopefully. So let's see what happens. Jared, how about you take it away for us? Give us your pitch for Subway sandwiches. Hey, you like you like sandwiches? You like bread? You ever be like, hmm, I wish this sandwich was longer and had bad bread. That kind of spongy bread, bread that probably in the future won't be able to be categorized as bread probably like legally speaking if you like that you know what you need you need a subway sandwich you need to eat that bad boy um also it's important to me as a spokesperson of subway Uh that you know that Mm -hmm. i am not a sex offender (laughs) there may be other jared fogels out there who may be sex offenders now or in the future but me a different person named jared fogel I'm not. I'm not a sex criminal. I'm. I'm not gonna lie, Jared. You shouldn't have to tell people that you're not a sex offender. But you know what? I gotta say, I loved your audition, and I think that we might be able to pick you. And I think you might be our spokesperson for the for the foreseeable future. Okay. Now, yeah. I I only said that sex offender stuff because that was in the script in the sides that you gave me. I just yes. want to make it clear. Okay. No, I'm, that's I'm totally actually fine. a pedophile. I didn't write the script. <laughs> Look at my big pants. <laughs> Wow, what a great show. <laughs> what a great Don't show. Don't let your kids go to Subway. <laughs> I mean, it's probably safe now. He's he's behind bars. <laughs> that we know of. Yeah. All right. Stu, what's your first pitch? You know what my favorite news source is? Mm, the Onion. At, you know what my second favorite news source is? Probably like some hentai show, right? You know what my third favorite news source is? No, I don't. Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> it's the Daily Bugle. <laughs> Ooh, I do like the Daily Bugle. I love them. And uh, honestly, that's where I get all my current events from. I just watch the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies every morning. That way I can get the news and I know what's going on. So what if the Daily Bugle had a podcast? Ooh, I like it. Yeah. Go ahead and lead us into that. All right. Hi, it's me. I'm Betty Brandt, one of the reporters from the Daily Bugle. I'm here she with my was. boss, J. Jonah Jameson. He's he's the main host of this show. Hi. Uh, how's it going, boss? <laughs> Betty, what the hell am I doing here? We, uh, what do- is this? We're doing a show. 
a what? Like, <laughs> we're doing we're doing our, our daily bugle show. It's like the it's like a radio show, but it's on the internet. A uh, radio. I. I don't understand. I just do newspapers. Why am I here? You're, you're the you're the face of our operation. Okay. What? Our first, our top story. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Grandpa. I'll tell you about it later. All right. Let's just let's just get this shit over with. I got sh- I got stuff to do. I got Spider Man's out there committing crimes, and I I need pictures of him. I need pictures of Spider Man's feet. Our top Ooh. story tonight is Spider Man feet pics. Question mark? Go ahead, boss. So, Lead us into uh, that story. I need them. Is that, <laughs> is that the whole story? Listen, Peter Parker's on vacation. We have no photographer for Spider Man. I need those pics. How am I supposed to get a scandalous story on him if we don't have his feet pics? So I'm asking you, the good people of New York City who know the right thing to do, is to email me those pictures of Spider Man's feet. Do you want the pictures of his feet, like in the Spider Man costume, or like just no specifically out? How, how do you know if it's his feet? How do you, how are you going to stop it from just being pictures of random people's feet? Well, it's well, he's still going to have like the rest of the costume, obviously. But like, I could buy a Spider Man costume down at the at, at, no, at, the, at the bodega. Nope. No, you can't. I. That's, nope. I, I could. You know I don't pay you enough for that. I could take out a loan. Really? With your credit score? <laughs> Grandpa, please. <laughs> Why do you need Spider-Man's feet pics specifically? Why don't you want like an unmasked picture of Spider-Man? Because nothing tells you about the value of someone's character more than how dirty their feet are. If he's got really dirty feet, that means he does not wash his feet properly. And they probably smell really good. I mean, really bad. They probably smell bad. So you can tell a lot about who is under the mask by 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 his feet. You can tell a lot about who's under the mask, but you don't want to see who's under the mask. Baby steps, Brent. Baby steps. <laughs> okay. Baby, baby, baby feet steps. Little, little feet. Little baby spider feet steps. Little, little, little spider, spider baby spiraling feet steps. Little, little Spider Man's feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! I got a uh, notification from one of our reporters set in uh, Florida. It looks like. Spider-Man is in Florida right now. What? In the Everglades. Someone, someone called Peter Parker. He's on vacation in Florida. Peter's on vacation in Florida? Yeah. Huh. That's crazy. We can just send him to take pictures of Spidey. That makes yeah, sense. Tell him, tell him to get the feet. Okay. The, the spider feet. All right. I got that sent. Hopefully Thank we'll you. get pics of <laughs> Spider-Man's feet by the end of the day. Thank oh, you. Hold um, on. Peter oh, already oh. sent me a picture. Oh. He is currently... Spider-Man is in, like, the Everglades. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah. he's, like, knee-deep in water right now. So mm. You can't see his feet. So his feet are probably dirty. Do you think they went down there together? How Pete, could they? Pete and Sp- no, no one knows who Spider-Man is. I mean, Pete must be, like, friends with him. I mean, I guess. But do you think Spider-Man got on the plane like Spider-Man? No, he probably just went in his regular identity. No, Parker would tell me if he knew Sp- who Spider-Man was and could get feet pics of Spider-Man. I'm just saying, I think it's feasible that Spider-Man in Spider-Man costume could go to Peter Parker and say, there's this thing that's going to be happening in the Everglades. Uh Uh I hear the lizards down there. Uh I'm going to have to go down there and fight. If you want to go to Florida and take pictures of me. That is the problem with Spider-Man. Spider-Man is going down to Florida to beat up the lizard while he's on a family vacation. Spider, the lizard is going there to visit his relatives. And I'm so out of focus. <laughs> what a great show. <laughs> wow. That, that sure was a good show. Playing J. Jonah Jameson is a lot of fun. <laughs> I bet. I, I wanted to give you a gift. That's why I let you be J. Jonah. Now, you might be wondering, dear, dear listener, oh. dear viewer, how did Peter Parker afford to go all the way to Florida? Probably through Patreon. If you would like to support our show through Patreon, you can support for as little as $1 a month. So and geez. if you can give us $5 a month or more, you get a uh, bonus content as often as I can. Roughly That's every not- Friday. Yeah. Sometimes I miss because mm-hmm. I, I work a lot. Yeah. And this show has almost broken my spirit. Not quite, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. no, it hasn't broken you like the hospital <laughs> has, but we're getting there. Especially the last few that we've recorded. That okay. we got close. Speaking of that, I'm just going to launch us into this next show. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Tom Ock complains about a thing uh, at a bad time when he shouldn't complain about that thing. This is about how my dad was sick this week 
and we went to the hospital. I know things are hard for healthcare workers right now, which is why I know it's a bad time to complain about this, but I'm going to complain anyway, because he had uh, COVID symptoms. He ended up testing positive for COVID, and he also had pneumonia, as we found out. So we're waiting there for a long time. It's a very long, slow wait. We got there at 1.21 p.m. And around the five, six hour mark, I go up to the desk and I'm like, hey, can we get like just an estimate? Could you ballpark how long you think it's going to be before he gets seen, before he's actually Mm -hmm. admitted? The lady at the desk said, they'll be seeing him shortly. And I said, okay. I forgot to mention, Stu, that we weren't allowed to wait inside with him. Mm -hmm. Me and my mom were waiting outside in the car in 30 degree weather. We kept waiting and waiting and waiting until around 1145 PM when my mom's phone finally lit up. And after she got a text notification and I was like, it's happening, it's happening. (laughs) And I look at the phone and it turned out to be my dad's mom texting to check in on my dad. And it broke my brain. I just started screaming (laughs) because we had been there for what, 10 and a half hours or so? I didn't like it. <laughs> we ended up waiting a total of 14 hours for him to be admitted. And I went insane. I'm still insane. Things, I'm never going to be the same person again. I'm never going to be. Well, let's hope you're a better person. Wow, what a great show. <laughs> I'm so glad you got that off your chest. Whew, yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, Stu. Oh, man. Uh, is there a show you want to pitch? Yeah, I've got one. It's on the same vein. But okay. instead of, like, just complaining, I just give out a quick hot take, you know? And and then I, and I get your opinions on it, too. And we kind of chat about it, okay? Okay. This is Hot Takes with, with Stu. Love Thank it. You. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a very... It's a very I, it took a long time to come up with that one. <laughs> My hot take for today is... People who double bag their milk are cowards. Ooh. I think it depends on the store. Some some Let's stores have real weak the control, bags. The control is Walmart. Mm-hmm. Walmart plastic. If you double bag that, you're a coward. I see. Because also, you don't even have to really bag your, your milk. I mean, you don't have to. But like, if you already have a bunch of groceries, yeah. then it's just convenient to bag it. But sure. I, I am the person who will put two cartons of milk in one bag mm-hmm. and I make it home every time I think that if your kid is screaming in a store I should be allowed to kick that kid <laughs> so so okay I agree because I'm a very I'm very pro beating children um, mm-hmm. for discipline mm-hmm. not for fun so no that's that's totally fine hot take with me I be I if if you want me to beat your kids for you please give me a call just let me know where to find you. If you're at a store and you just, you know, the kids going wild, call my phone number. I'll head over there as fast as I can and just beat them. If, listen, this isn't really a hot take. I know I'm going against the nature of the show, but something that happened that this, really pissed me off on someone you else's the on, show. <laughs> I know, I know. And I'm already breaking my own rules. Okay. But listen, I'm I was listening. at the store. And mm-hmm. it was at the um, the Lowe's Foods here, and this lady two carts ahead of me at the checkout was like, "Damn, I don't have a rewards card." And so the guy ahead of me, in between us, was like, "Here, you can use mine." And she said, "Oh, thank you." And so she used his rewards card, and the guy at the counter goes, "Oh." It looks like you have enough points to get like half off on those beans. Do you want to use them? And she goes, "Yes." Can't do that. <laughs> you can't. You just hot take. Don't use those as reward points. <laughs> and oh, the man. guy, and and before the guy could protest, the dude hit the button and just let it go. I'm like, why would you offer that to her? You know that wasn't her car. That's ridiculous. Why would you do that? <laughs> that 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 caused a little bit of insanity on me. Because because just the audacity to be like, oh yeah, I'll use their points for my benefit. <laughs> because the card already gets you a discount. Okay, back to the topic of hot takes. Yes, I, I, got, one I got a good one. Okay, good, because I have one more, so go ahead. Okay. Uh, COVID isn't real. Anyway, so mine is... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have COVID right now. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, it's not COVID. It's just really aggressive herpes. You're going to be okay. Okay. Um, My hot take is that this is again we're going back to 
the the grocery store. It's a grocery store themed hot take episode, except for your thing. When you are at the deli counter mm-hmm. getting deli meats, yeah. you know, your your cut deli meats, you should get two meats per visit at the most. At the most. At the most. I feel like you can get a meat like so you can get some turkey, smoked turkey, and then some ham. And then that's it. Cause because if you get like a pound of each, how much like lunch meat are you eating at a time that you need like another type of meat like really almost every time i go to the deli there's always like a line at the deli counter because mm. you have someone up there who's getting like five different kinds of meat up at the de- and they want to try every one because it's not like they're coming out with new meats at the deli counter it's the same it's the same shit every week and they're like can i try the smoked turkey i'm like you don't you're, you're 38 what do you mean you don't know what the smoked turkey tastes like just order it and leave it adds it adds an extra 15 20 minutes to a trip to a grocery store that doesn't need to be had so two meats two meats and if you want to get something that's non-meat that is fine you get one non-meat two meats one non-meat and you're good to go. I think I got to disagree. Well, that's why this is a hot take. This is mm-hmm. why we discuss. At the very least, you should be able to get two cheeses, one for each meat. Mm. I think like if you want cheddar with like a roast beef and you want like swizz with your turkey, I think that's good. I don't think I don't think the cheese is that big of a factor that th- that those different kinds of cheese will make a difference. I, think I feel like crazy. you can be happy with Swiss on either cheese or happy nah. with mozzarella on Mm-mm. either cheese. Mm-mm. I really do. Vile. You're a vile person. I really and this do. show and, is going to... And, it's going to end our friendship. <laughs> wow, what a great show. A show that ends our friendship. I love it. <laughs> hey, we had this coming. Okay. Uh, hey, it's Hey, 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 hey buddy. Hey, I got hey. an important question for you. Is there anything you want to plug? You know, there just might be. Well, what is it? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Stew12, I believe it is. Um, you can find me on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash stew underscore where I play video games sometimes. I just bought two new games and as of last episode we did, I bought a PS4, a PS5 that I trekked out in the snow with. So if you want to see me play games on that, come over to my Twitch channel. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, you can hang out with me on Twitter. You can post memes. I post memes. If I like your meme, I'll retweet it. Um, and it'll be a grand old time. Um, every week or so, I do a episode, uh, not episode, but I do Dungeons and Dragons with my team. Uh, we're probably moving to more of a uh, streaming platform for that. Uh, like So basically on Twitch now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that'll be pretty fun. Sounds fun. And, yeah, and that's all I have going in my life because... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, if you would like to uh, follow me on Twitter, that is now something you can do. I made a new Twitter where I am trying and I have already failed to post something at least once a day and I try to make it not just links to my show. <laughs> it's hard. You can find me on Twitter at Tomahawk is Taken. <laughs> Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Be sure to leave a comment. Hit that notification bell. Do all the internet things. If you liked Mm -hmm. this, share it with a friend. Please. (laughs) Our last pitch is about a game. Stu and I are going to invent a game. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Stu, All right. take it yeah. away. Welcome to the Game Masters, where me, Stu, and my guest Tomahawk, Hello. We, we make games for you to play. Tomahawk. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> I hate it. Are you ready <laughs> to make a game? I've, I was born ready. Uh, so did you change your name to Tomahawk? Uh-huh. Okay, cool, 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 cool. My, my birth name is Game Master. Oh, I thought your birth name was Ready. Oh, yeah, that too. Game Master's my middle name. I've always gone by my middle name. Where were we? Oh, yes, we're making a game. Today. We're making a game. Tomahawk, you start us off with a premise. What, what premise are you going for? What kind of game are you looking to make? We're going to make a game where we roll, like, a D&D dice. What the? F- what, what was on your thumb? Was it this? <laughs> Yeah, what is that? It's like a silly potty kind of thing. Oh. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we're using D&D dice. Okay, okay. What are, okay, okay. What are okay. we using them for? What you normally do mm-hmm. is you roll them for an outcome. Yes. But we're going to switch it up. We are not going to roll the dice. <laughs> we're not going to roll them. No, 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 no
Ooh, at each other? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Tomahawk and Stu Pitch a Podcast. Tomahawk and Stu Pitch a Podcast.